I think we have to change our perspective of work. Um, a lot of times we talk about work and you almost feel like the energy drain as you say the word. <laughs> we, yeah, work. Um, <laughs> we have to look at it as a place where we can build community. Uh, we have to look at it as a place where we can drive connection that is not only meaningful for us as individuals, but will actually make the company better too. So that was Cisco's Executive Vice President and Chief People Policy and Purpose Officer, Francine Katsudis, who spoke at last year's 3050 Summit on and around International Women's Day. During her 27 years at Cisco, she has overseen its inclusive growth programs and global social impact, landing Cisco at the top of Fortune's 100 best companies to work for three straight years years in a row. And Fran joins us now to talk about our partnership with Know Your Value and Forbes on this extraordinary event, which is days away. Also with us, editor of Forbes Women, Maggie McGrath, and vice chair of the Forbes and Know Your Value 3050 Summit, Huma Abedin. She's also an MSNBC contributor. Good to have you all. Fran, we welcome you back as our partner for the 2024 3050 Summit as uh, part of last year's iconic conversation with Hillary Clinton, Billie Jean King, Gloria Steinem, and Ukraine's First Lady Olena Zelenska. That was incredible. There was so much during those three days. What do you think were the most impactful takeaways from last year? And what do you see as the most pressing challenges this year, which I think has a whole different tone? It really does. When I look back on last year, I just have so much energy and gratitude for the summit. I think something that was so amazing is that we see women at all stages of their careers. Some people have two or three chapters, others have six, seven or eight, and all are sharing their story in a very authentic way. And I think what it shared with all of the women present is that you can have a career, you can have it your way with your strengths. Mika, I think something that you did last year, and I know you're going to do more of it this year, is the focus, too, on financial success and ambition. I will tell you, as someone who has always been ambitious with my career, I've known that women are looked at differently when they talk about ambition. And I think hearing so many women share their stories really allows people to understand there's a path. I think also as we bring women together being able to talk about those conversations that are not at the table that need to be, I think is incredibly important. And I know we'll do a lot more of that this year too. You know, Fran, I wanted to ask you, one of the most important elements and aspects, and I think what makes this summit so unique is this concept of mentoring. Okay. And one of the women who was at the summit last year actually shared with us that she has never been able to form a trusted mentor relationship. And we recently heard from her and she said that actually she found a mentor at the summit last year and how grateful she is for that. So what advice do you give attendees coming this year who are looking to form relationships uh, and maybe find a mentor? Well, first of all, I'm so happy to hear that. And I'm not surprised either. There is a really beautiful environment of women supporting one another. And I think that's part of knowing your value. You know, it's interesting when I look back on my career, I remember there was a time early on where I was in a meeting and I saw a leader handle a really tough situation. And afterwards I went to her and I said, okay, tell me, how did you do that? And she was so kind and generous with her time to share what she did, how she learned to do that. And it was a learning early on that I think for everyone, when you see someone do something, when you see a skill or capability that you want, ask a question. I would say to all of the participants and more broadly, just don't hesitate. And I think, for women who are asked to be mentors, everyone is so crazy busy, and I get that. But I think we as mentors also get as much as we give. And so I think it's a way to prioritize and really showcase how we take care of this ecosystem of women in the workplace and beyond. That's great advice. Now, Fran, I know you think a lot about the gender divide that exists within AI and cybersecurity, and it has never been more important to build inclusive workforces in these sectors, which is why this year at the summit, we are going to have a panel on smashing the cyber ceiling, so to speak, with entrepreneurs Michelle Zatlin and Noor Swede. What do you most hope our audience will learn and take away from this conversation? So the first thing that I would say is when we see an area like security or AI, AI take off, or we see these broader market transitions, everyone should know that creates opportunity. Uh, the other thing that I would say is that 
as an example, today around the world, there are 3.4 million security roles that are not filled. Um, about half of those are at the technician level, meaning that anyone can really, with some basic training, step into a new career. And so I would say it's never too late. I think we all need to invest in building our skills. The World Economic Forum now says that every two years, all of us have to do a little bit more investment in our skills, I know. And uh, the other thing I would say is there's opportunities. As an example, Cisco offers something called Skills for All. You can look that up online. It's free and it allows you to take security courses and then get certification. I think the most important thing for companies is that it behooves us to have diversity and inclusion in everything from AI to security. It will make the products so much stronger and really set us up from a privacy and safety perspective as well. All right, Francine Katsudis, thank you so much. We're not done with you yet. We're going to continue to put you to work and speak to you more in our next hour on the issue of AI. But thank you so much, and I so look forward to seeing you, and I'm so excited about our partnership. Maggie McGrath, Huma Abedin, thank you both as well. Also, for more details on the very upcoming 3050 Summit and how you can join, visit Forbes.com or KnowYourValue.com. Um, also, be sure to use the code Morning Joe for a special opportunity on tickets. It's going to be an amazing event this year. I mean, you look, Shania Twain. I mean, you just go down the list. And, oh, the you know, what, what, lineup is what I love so much is you look at that lineup and there's so many incredible people there that are coming this year, just like last year. But, you know, one person on that list that I think... I just, it's incredible seeing Susie Orman there. Oh, yeah. And she's Susie, my because she's your inspiration. I remember 15, 16 years ago, you talking about Susie and what Susie had done with her platform and how empowering she, what she did for women. And I'm going to say this, and every time I say things like this, you, you go like, what do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> it's so exciting to see you. Like, I've, I've seen you not only there, but I saw you in Hartford. I've seen you across America talking. And what's so exciting is, of course, when you get up there and you talk about women fighting for their value, fighting for their rights. Of course, it's exciting looking at you. It's even more moving looking at the women and seeing how much you move them and seeing them interact with you and interacting Maggie and whom and everybody else. Uh, in, in this community, and it really makes a big difference in their lives. Well, and I think it's especially important and poignant this year. We have an incredibly diverse lineup from Ellen Johnson Surley to Sheila Johnson, uh, women who've really moved the meter, whether it's in art or in politics or on the global stage or at the local level or in business. And we're really in preserve and protect mode right now as women around the world, women here in America yeah. and around the world. We want to protect our rights. We want to preserve our gains. We want to push each other forward. Yeah. And what you get at this event is this sort of cross-cultural, cross-generational support session, mentoring session, exchanging of information. Everybody leaves with either financial backing or feeling stronger in what they're doing. It is right. a remarkable event, and I'm really proud of the, of the games we've be. made. But this yeah. year, it's... It's more important than ever, yeah. given what is happening here and around the world.